a little bit. Right, I've come to the gate that I was on about, on this uh, bridle path. Um, I'm not going down there. I've got a feeling I join up a little bit further up because that might still take me around to the Warren. Or I might have to walk through thick ferns. I don't really want to risk it. But it could be that I go there and then across, but I'm, I'm sure I can pick it up up here. There's Robert Warren over there, look. It's a gorgeous day today. Like I said, I don't do it that often, so sometimes you can miss a turning or sh say to yourself, well, maybe I should have gone down there. Do you know what I mean? I'm just thinking there's another one a bit further up. I hope. I can still do it. I can still join up. Um, but I've walked through ferns before when I could have just gone a bit further and branched off a bit further up. I'm trying to stay in the shade as long as possible because once we get out there there are trees but I've got a feeling if I take that path that's the one that takes me skirts me round the Robert Warren on the outside and I've done these walks in the heat like today it's going to be hot it will be hot but I've done it before. If you come equipped, nibblies, sufficient water, so you're not going to pass out and all that, sufficient water and some lovely views. Look, I'm going to stop here actually with the video a minute because just look at that gorgeous view. We'll just zoom in over to the Robra. See, oh, this, this little screen is good for certain things, but it's not good for fine-tuning if you wanted to catch an owl or a hawk or a flower from a distance like this. It's uh, a little bit restricted. So I'm going to turn off for a second. Just done a very brief look down this path. But now this one will just take you, once again, skirting the warren. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done it, but I did reach an open space and I think there's further. Then we link up with a path that takes us near, near some trees. There's lots of trees, I know, but a bit further up. That's what I remember because I've done all these diversions in error before and that's how I learnt what you could say sometimes a hard way. But I'm having to remember, so another open space. Oh, it's cool here though, isn't it? You get up my area of outstanding beauty midday. Oh my god, that's hot. I got a feeling it's here. We go through some trees. Yeah, I think this is the junction. I'll just point out the other route. I just point out the other, yeah, this is the one I take now, through those trees, I remember it now. Um, but I'll just show you this path, just to remind myself as well. When you get to this open triangular space here, okay, right over there you've got Robera Warren and tracks going up there. If you want to go to Burrington Coombe, into the uh, place where they've got shops and and you can view the coombe. You can also join up with the path I'm going to do further down, but it means you've then got to climb up. Following this path, I'll go straight across and link up with my path. Okay? Now, just mention, big cows roam. And I've met them before now on tracks. They might all be near the swallows today. They might all be in the bushes when I'm further up where I'm going. So we're heading for a link up across the large procession route, I call it, coming down from the top. There's a very wide processional route up from Tynion's Farm right over the top. And there are various pathways you can see more easily 
in the winter when none of this bracken is up. They sometimes harvest the bracken here. They do on the top. We're coming up to like a little, I don't know if it's an oasis, but quite a nice little shaded area where people probably stop for a picnic and cool down. Now it is adder time of year for sure. And in a month's time, it'll be, or a bit longer, wasp time. So here we are. Like I said, there's various paths, a bit dodgy walking in through ferns, um, the ticks and adders, unless you've got appropriate clothing on. But people do do it. I've done it by mistake before I ploughed up through things like that. I tend to have learnt. But I didn't what I needed to do it though. I still needed to do it to experience it. Right, here's this little shaded area where a lot of people will shade. And when the schools are out doing their adventures with the teachers and that, this is an area that would be selected. A meeting point. Sometimes water, but not today. Right, I'm going to stop for a moment, take some pictures, and then I'm going to follow a path that would take me across the processional route. So remember, there's a very wide path. Not far across the other side is the path you link up to go across the, the springs, the brooks, further up the Eastling and the Westling, or something like that they're called. All right, over and out for a minute. in the picnic area. As you can see, it would house quite a nice group. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're now going to carry on with the pathway. Like I said, in the winter, there will be water here. Nothing for the animals. So it's very unlikely. Though they come down here, sheep. Um, very, very dry. Everything's very dry. So... If you followed me from the gate, you know that you had to keep going on a bit until you found that triangular space. Now from here I can see the cows or horses right up on the top there. I'll just zoom in. They're right up there, so they might be making their way to their own swallet. There they are. I, I should imagine that they look more like cows to me. Quite a big herd, but they could be a big herd of ponies. Let me just turn off to take a picture. Right, so there we go. There's that nice little cool area. Very handy. There's a lot of trees. The route I'm taking is a safe one. I, of course I walk on the top, but I do that on cooler days. Now as we walk along here and I zoom in, you can see a geological wonder which is Burrington Coombe probably formed a similar time as um, could be as Cheddar Gorge erosion and all that exposing its rocks carboniferous that's a bit of stone and all that um, I'll take a picture of that when I get closer because I've only just turned the camera off so up on the hill high up there will be ponies and cattle like I said, this is quite a good route in many ways. And there is, although I was moaning about there being a 20 mile, 21 mile an hour wind at times this afternoon, I think it was about 11 at the moment, that will be extremely cooling as my walk progresses. I'm just checking the red dots on. Right. I am going to turn off here and take a good picture from here. I'm coming straight back on. Here we are. This is the processional route I'm telling you about. This big wide pathway that goes all the way up the hill there. And then over the other side. Great big wide area. Where they usually have the marshals when people are on various hikes and walks, the kids. Down there you go to Burrington Coombe. If you want to go and have a coffee or tea or do something else or walk up the Coombe, go that way. You'll come on a little lane eventually. But if you want the church, you've got to go left, I think. But I'm not, that is quite a dangerous road. But there is probably a, a, 
public pathway, but I, I haven't explored that yet. It's all to do with time, really. So anyway, no cows on the track here. Great big herd of something on top there. And here I am crossing now. I'm crossing the processional route. I've just left that track there, where I came out from that lovely shaded area. So we're doing quite well, folks. We're doing quite well. I've met two la ladies. I've met three ladies. One girl was with her her little um, spaniel-looking dog. Then there was a, a late another woman. Uh, there was a woman uh, in a running outfit with her little spaniel-like dog, and she knew the other girl. She was keeping fit. Had all her fit gear on. And then I met a, a lady and a gentleman. Um, they both looked very hot, and I don't think they had water. But they were obviously knew what they were doing, so they were going somewhere. But they were in the shade. That was in the wooded area before I got to the gate and everything. So there we are. We've left that area now. Robert Warren is right over there. That's the area of outstanding beauty. The hills up there. The hills are alive, as they say, with an absolute massive herd of something on the top. Um, I don't know if the cattle, we can tell by cow pack and that, if they ever come down towards the brooks and streams. I don't know. There's a lovely view of uh, Barrington Coombe over there, look. Yeah. And of course, if you go up there, that'll take you on. That would take you on a path. I've done a lot of these paths, by the way, over the years. I have gone off and explored them. Sometimes getting into jungles. Sometimes I haven't found out. I've got to climb right up high in the heat. So I'm a bit careful. I'm keeping more to the the course I know. I'm not going to roam off, especially in the summer, uh, when everything is very overgrown. And uh, God, look at that lovely, that lovely scene with the sky and everything. Beautiful geology all around, isn't it? Let me stop and take a picture.